Draper's Nano Air Vehicle is a project we worked on with Daedalus Flight Systems, MIT, and Harvard. The initial work was sponsored by DARPA through a program that called for a nano-sized aerial vehicle that could be flown remotely by an untrained operator. The operator would command it where to fly using a joystick, but the vehicle had to decide how to position its blades to go where the operator commanded. This meant that the vehicle had to be smart enough to know how to stay on course, hover in place, and warn the operator when it was going to collide with an object. What made this difficult is that it needed to be able to do this indoors or in other confined spaces that are difficult to navigate and where GPS doesn't work. With such a lightweight vehicle, you can imagine that it could be blown off course pretty easily by wind gusts. Daedalus Flight Systems developed a coaxial rotor design that was able to overcome these types of disturbances much more effectively than the conventional rotor design. Another aspect of such a small vehicle is that it's limited in the size and the weight of the sensors. We were limited to low-grade MEMS inertial sensors similar to the ones you'd find in video game controllers, and these aren't precise enough to keep the vehicle on course by themselves. There's a significant amount of position drift associated with them, and without some additional aiding, the vehicle would crash into a wall within the first few seconds of its mission. To deal with this, Draper developed a system called vision-aided navigation. This algorithm used two cameras, one in the front and one on the side of the vehicle, that could identify features in the environment for the vision system to lock onto. Once it locked onto these features, it would use them to determine the vehicle's position and orientation from those objects. This approach allows the vehicle to figure out where it is and how to correct for the position drift that had occurred in the inertial sensors. To close the loop with the operator, we also included an onboard communication system capable of sending a video stream and telemetry data back to the operator.